Hello and welcome to Canton This Month. I'm your host, Diane Baker. During our show, we'll bring you a variety of special reports from throughout the community as well as local news and more. Canton This Month is produced by Canton Community Television and the Canton Municipal Government. Our show this month begins with Canton Public Safety's Special Enforcement Unit. Then we'll get an update on events and services at Club 55 Plus and we'll wrap up with a look back at this year's Liberty Fest. All this and more when we return to Canton This Month. Nestled in the beautiful community of Canton Township, the Pheasant Run Golf Club offers a pristine 27-hole layout. Designed by Arthur Hills, the course was designed to be played by all. The four-star grill and pro shop offer golfers dining and apparel options. We also have Summit on the Park, which has a spectacular banquet facility for people who want something a little more formal. Go to golfprgc.org or call 734-397-6460 today. This plus this equals this plus this and this. Don't drink and drive. Now let's turn to the news. Beginning Tuesday, September 6th at noon, the Summit on the Park will close for its annual maintenance shutdown and will reopen on Friday, September 9th at 6 a.m. For details, contact the Summit front desk at 394-5460 or visit summitonthepark.org. As part of our fall program registration kickoff, Canton Leisure Services will be holding an open house on Wednesday, August 24th from 5 to 7 p.m. We'll also be celebrating Bartlett the Beaver's fourth birthday, so come out and enjoy food, games, and activities for all ages. Learn everything you need to know about upcoming fall classes, programs, and events during this special open house at the Summit on the Park. In addition, find out what top-notch health and wellness amenities are available and take advantage of our Back to School membership special. To learn more about this free event, visit CantonFun.org. In an effort to help protect our water resources, residents are urged to conserve water during the month of August by following a few simple steps like adhering to voluntary odd-even water restrictions and adjusting your sprinklers. To learn more about what you can do to help conserve water resources and keep lakes and rivers free of pollution, visit canton-mi.org forward slash environment.asp. And we'll be right back with more Canton This Month. Nestled in the beautiful community of Canton Township, the Pheasant Run Golf Club offers a pristine 27-hole layout. Designed by Arthur Hills, the course was designed to be played by all. The four-star grill and pro shop offer golfers dining and apparel options. We also have Summit on the Park, which has a spectacular banquet facility for people who want something a little more formal. Go to golfprgc.org or call 734-397-6460 today. Welcome back, and now for a look at Canton Public Safety's Special Enforcement Unit. Hello, I'm Sergeant Harris from the Canton Police Department. I'm here today to discuss two units within the Department of Public Safety, the Rapid Response Unit and the Special Operations Team. The Rapid Response Unit is made up of officers from the Patrol Division and Traffic Unit. Currently, there are 38 officers assigned to the Rapid Response Unit. Assignment to the unit is voluntary, and officers apply for acceptance. Once an officer is accepted, they must complete a week-long training course that instructs them in marksmanship with patrol rifle, use of the less lethal shotgun, advanced building search technique, and the use of force scenario training. After the initial training, the officers attend quarterly training days to maintain their skills. During every shift, one of the rapid response unit officers drives a specially equipped vehicle. This car contains a dedicated less lethal shotgun, several sets of heavy body armor, which is armor designed to stop higher velocity bullets, ballistic helmets, a shield, and door breaching equipment. Rapid response unit officers, not driving that vehicle, take their assigned patrol rifle with them in their normal car. 
These officers respond to higher risk calls such as active shooters, barricaded subjects, suicidal subjects, or any violent crime in progress. When an incident requires more resources or will take longer to resolve than a patrol shift can handle, we call the Western Wayne Special Operations Team, which is our SWAT team. It is a consortium unit made up of officers from Belleville, Canton, Livonia, Northville, Northville Township, Plymouth, Plymouth Township, the City of Wayne, and Van Buren Township Police Departments. Canton currently has four officers assigned to the Special Operations Team. This is also a voluntary position. Officers that apply for this position go through a long, uh, day-long testing process, including interviews, a shooting evaluation, and a psychological exam. Members of the Special Operations Team must complete a very intensive three-week training course and attend two training days per month to maintain their skills. When the Special Operations Team is needed, the Dispatch Center contacts all the unit members via a text message, telling them where to respond and what the situation is. SOT has capabilities that the Rapid Response Unit does not. These include diversionary devices, chemical agent, remote cameras, special negotiations equipment, and more advanced armament and weaponry. One of the tools available to both the RRU and the Special Operations Team is the Lenco Bearcat. This is an armored vehicle that was purchased with grant monies to be used by the cities in the consortium. It is such a tremendous tool, it changes our tactics. Instead of having officers having to find a place of cover and concealment in an area where they can still observe the location, we can drive right to the front door in safety. From there, we can have an immediate response team ready to go, easily deliver chemical agent or a negotiation phone. On several occasions, the intimidation factor alone was enough to cause the subject to give up without a fight. As you can see, the Rapid Response Unit and the Special Operations Team are integral parts of the Department of Public Safety to help ensure the safety of our citizens and our police officers. Just a reminder, artists are invited to participate in a juried exhibition from September 30th through October 29th at the Village Theater at Cherry Hill. Presented by the Canton Commission for Culture, Arts and Heritage, the goals of this exhibit include bringing quality art to the Canton community, as well as providing highly talented artists with opportunities to present their work locally. For additional information, call 394-5300. To download the 2016 Artist Entry Form, please visit cantonvillagetheater.org. Note the entry deadline is August 15th. Because we share the community with wild animals, including coyotes, sightings should not be an immediate cause for concern. Carrying the resemblance of a mid-sized German Shepherd, coyotes have the discerning trait of running with their tails below the level of their backs. Coyotes are active day and night, however, peak activity usually occurs at sunrise and sunset. Even though human attacks are very rare, coyotes can cause an immediate threat to your property and pets. To ensure the safety of you and your property, please follow these rules if such an instance should arise. Never approach or touch a coyote, never intentionally feed a coyote, and to lessen their attraction to your home, eliminate all outside food sources, especially pet food, and it's a good idea to put garbage out the morning of pickup. Reports of a coyote causing a threat or in distress can be called to the Canton Public Safety non-emergency line at 394-5400. There's still time to get out and get moving with the Summit on the Park's free weekly outdoor fitness classes. From now until August 26, individuals ages 14 and up can drop into these free outdoor fitness classes at the Heritage Park Amphitheater. Walking workout is Mondays at 10.30 a.m. for beginners and active older adults. Boot camp Wednesdays are at 10.30 a.m. for all levels. And yoga Thursdays at 8.15 a.m. for all levels. Keep in mind, hydration is a must when it comes to outdoor fitness classes, so please remember your water bottle. For additional information, go to summitonthepark.org. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Canton This Month. This plus this equals this plus this and this. Don't text and drive. As part of Bartlett's Kids Club Family Fun Day, join us to review bike safety with our camp police officers. We'll go over the rules and of course take a nice bike ride. In addition to our review of bike safety, we'll also decorate our bikes and finish with a craft. If you would like to participate, just meet us at the amphitheater with your bike and helmet on August 20th at noon. See you there. 
Would you like to give back to your community by volunteering? Then come learn about all the volunteer opportunities that Canton Leisure Services has available. Volunteer opportunities include ushering at the Village Theater, helping out the Canton Historical Society, becoming a docent at the Bartlett Travis House, assisting at special events such as Liberty Fest and more. For more information, call 394-5193. Yappy Hour is back on Saturday, August 27th from 11 a.m. to noon. Dog Park members can bring their pooch to the Canton Dog Park and mingle with other dog lovers. Snacks for both you and your dog will be provided as well as free giveaways. No pre-registration is required, although a membership to the Canton Dog Park is required. For more details, visit cantonfun.org. Mark your calendars. Canton's annual Hazardous Waste Roundup will be held on Saturday, September 10th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Canton's Department of Public Works building. For a complete list of what is and is not being accepted, call Public Works at 397-1011. We'll be right back with more Canton This Month. Nestled in the beautiful community of Canton Township, the Pheasant Run Golf Club offers a pristine 27-hole layout. Designed by Arthur Hills, the course was designed to be played by all. The four-star grill and pro shop offer golfers dining and apparel options. We also have Summit on the Park, which has a spectacular banquet facility for people who want something a little more formal. Go to golfprgc.org or call 734-397-6460 today. This plus this equals this plus this and this. Don't text and drive. Hey folks, Canton Township has an app. My Canton is the official mobile app for the Canton community. The app provides a connection between the township and its citizens and visitors. Enjoy convenient access to local officials, businesses, and event registration. Whether a resident or visitor, this app delivers access to community news, events, emergency alerts, and more. Download the MyCan app today and connect with the community. Available at Apple and Google Play Store. Welcome back. Now here's a look at upcoming events and services at Club 55+. Are you 55 plus and like to golf? Then register for the Senior Golf Outing, which will take place at Pheasant Run Golf Club on Tuesday, August 23rd. Check-in begins at 8 a.m. with a shotgun start at 9 a.m. Enjoy a continental breakfast provided by Heartland, followed by 18 holes of golf with a cart. Come as a foursome or a single. Golfers can register now at the front desk of Club 55 plus. For more information, please call 394-5485. The Canton Farmer's Market regular market season is going strong. Remember to stop by every Sunday at Preservation Park between 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. to pick up fresh produce, baked goods, plants, crafts, and so much more. Check out the variety of entertainment as different artists perform each week on the Bartlett Travis House front porch. Also, be sure to stop by the Master Gardener's booth to get answers to all of your lawn and garden questions. To find more information on Canton's growing farmer's market, visit cantonfund.org or contact the market manager at 394-5375.
The Summit on the Park offers swim lessons for individuals and groups ages six months and up. The next session starts on August 22nd. These classes teach the fundamentals and skills that will help you be safe and confident when in the water. There are many different registration options including ongoing lessons, session-based lessons, private lessons, and recreational swim team prep. All instructors go through extensive ongoing training to ensure they're teaching the most current and progressive program possible. For more information on swim lessons at the summit, please visit summitonthepark.org. August traditionally brings perfect golf weather and conditions. Make Pheasant Run your next golf destination before summer slips away. Visit golfprgc.org for more information and to sign up for our monthly updates. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more Canton This Month. Nestled in the beautiful community of Canton Township, the Pheasant Run Golf Club offers a pristine 27-hole layout. Designed by Arthur Hills, the course was designed to be played by all. The four-star grill and pro shop offer golfers dining and apparel options. We also have Summit on the Park, which has a spectacular banquet facility for people who want something a little more formal. Go to golfprgc.org or call 734-397-6460 today. This plus this equals this plus this and this. Don't drink and drive. Welcome back. Now let's travel back in time and check out this year's Liberty Fest.
We hope you've enjoyed our show. Next month, we will again bring you a variety of reports from throughout our community. On behalf of the team at Canton this month, I'm Diane Baker, and I'll see you in Canton.